Hey, what's up guys? My name is Shawnee D, and today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to solo farm Devil Soars in Angoro Crater starting at level 52. Now, if you're not familiar with this method or how to do this, um, I would recommend you be level 53 or even level 54 before even trying to attempt this. Um, it is quite hard to do at level 52, but it is possible as you will see in this upcoming clip after I go through the play-by-play. -play. Um, but I would recommend being 53 or even 54 for the sake of doing it for the first time now before we go ahead and get into the guide let's go ahead and look at our gear and our talent build that is required to be able to pull this off now it doesn't really require you to have amazing gear as you can see like i mean i'm basically just in some questing greens a couple blues here and there um but mace but ba mainly just questing greens a couple blues here and there we do have a verdant keeper's arm this is from the last boss in Marad, and it's a quest reward you do not have to have this. I happen to have this because I got lucky and I just happened to stumble upon a group that was on Princess. They needed a DPS and so I got the quest completed. It only took me a couple minutes. But you can just have some lower DPS weapon. It does not require you to have anything spectacular in this slot. Um, it's not really a big deal. Now, this is a big deal. This is one of the best weapons, if not the best weapons, to even farm Devil Swords with pre-60. This is called Beast Slayer. Now, the reason this is so OP is because of that equip, plus 72 attack power when fighting beasts. That is quite OP for this level at level 52, 53, 54 range when you're trying to kill the Devil Sword. It really gives you a huge DPS spike. If you don't know how to get this, I'm standing by the NPC right now. His name is Torwa Pathfinder. Um, he gives you a small quest chain when you first walk into Angora. One's to kill some apes and to get their pelts. Then you return it to him. And then after, he'll give you a quest to kill the ape boss named... Ucha, I believe that's what his name is. Anyways, the quest reward is the Beast Slayer. Do not sell this ever unless you get some sick weapon in the future after you raid and you still want to farm Devil Swords. Keep this on you, keep it in your bank, keep it on your character. Whenever you want to go farm Devil Swords, this is what you're going to want to have on you. All right, let's go ahead and look at our talents here. Um, we'll start with the Beast Mastery Tree 31 points in BM all the way down to Bestial Wrath. Very, very important. Um, I would say the only thing, like, all these points are pretty flexible. The only things you really, really absolutely need are Thick Hide and Improved Revive Pet, along with Bestial Wrath, of course. Um, basically, you just want your pet to be as beefy as possible. As possible. And if your pet goes down during the fight, which he's, he more than likely will, um, you're going to want to be able to have that Improved Revive Pet to get him back up during the fight to keep it going. Okay, as far as the Marksmanship Treat goes, I have 5 out of 5 in Improved Concussive Shot. You do not need this. I took this mainly for PvP. It is quite nice when kiting the Devil Swords. You do see this proc quite often. It does give a nice 3 second stun. Um, but I would say, for, uh, for the sake of the argument, I would say Efficiency is probably a little better just for consistency's sake because you're always going to have that 10% mana cost reduction. Um, in the second part of the tree, you're going to want to put 5 and 5 in Lethal Shots. That's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody takes that. You're going to want Aim Shot. And in this... Part of the video i happened to hit level 53 off soloing the devil soars earlier today when i made the other part of the video um so you're gonna have one less down point than me you're gonna have hawkeye one out of three instead of two out of three that's not a big deal it's just two extra yard range on the attacks all right now we're gonna want to go ahead and get into our pet talents here okay we have bite rank seven that is the max rank bite for this level we have claw rank six this is not the max rank claw for this level i got a little lazy and i did not train claw rank seven which i believe can be taught to your pet level 48 um so even though uh, i'm level 52 and soloing these i don't even have 100 percent optimal pet talents so keep that in mind i would say probably train rank seven claw that's probably probably pretty important well not really that important anyways um dash rank one that came with the pet um we have stamina rank four we have Growl Rank 6, that's max, max Rank Growl. We have Natural Armor 8. You're going to want, always want Max Rank Natural Armor when you're trying to do this to really do anything in questing leveling in general. You're going to want Max Rank Armor always. And then um, with our other points, we went ahead and opted for Shadow Resistance Rank 3. Uh, this helps against the Tyrant Devil Swords a little bit, not a lot. They do do an AoE Fear every once in a while. Um, when your pet doesn't have Bestial Wrath active, that's going to actually help help out. Maybe he'll catch a resist on a fear or two. It will help that your pet doesn't run off and pull some more mobs while he's feared. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at some really crucial spell ranks before we jump into the video. Um, first of all, 100%, you're going to want Scare Beast rank 3. This is the most important talent point. Talent point. This is the most important skill to have learned for this entire thing. Scare Beast rank 3 
is a lifesaver. I can't say it more. This is the entire reason that this is possible besides the axe, the 200 axe that I talked about earlier. Now you're also going to want Emulation Trap 4. Um, the reason being is because it does so much damage. I mean, let's be honest, 500 damage is pretty insane at this level. And essentially it doesn't even cost any mana because you lay it down before the pull anyways. And then you drink up to full Hunter's Mark, pull, etc. Pull the pull the Devil Sword into the Emulation Trap. Free 510 damage. Can't say enough. That thing's awesome as well. On top of that, you're going to want First Aid. Um, I believe it's 240 First Aid for Heavy Mage Week Bandages. That's what I was using in this video. Um... If you can get room cloth bandages or even heavy room cloth bandages, it will make this a lot easier just simply because you will be able to heal your pet even more in between the fears. Um, as far as pets go, I would say any DPS pet really works. Uh, I've never tried it with a tank pet. I happen to have Broken Tooth. Broken Tooth happens to be a rare cat from the Barrens if you don't know about Broken Tooth. Um, the reason why he's so good and everybody on the server wants him is because he has a 1.00 attack speed, which happens to be the fastest attack speed of any pet in the game currently um, on this phase of Classic WoW. Um, you do not need Broken Tooth. Honestly, you can just have a regular cat. As long as you have the correct talent build for the pet, you have the correct uh, skill and spell usage and mechanics and rotation down for the actual pull. Um, Broken Tooth doesn't even matter. He does help, though. He is not... 100% necessary. I would just go with any cat. Just make sure that you know what you're doing as far as the talent points and the pet and as far as pulling and the rotation, etc., which we will get into in a second. All right, now we have all that covered. Let's go ahead and get into the play by play, boys. All right, boys, here we are on the pole. First things first, let's make sure we have that Devil Sword Hunters marked and that we have an Immo Trapped dropped where we're going to be fighting it. Also, make sure that your mana pool is topped off, that your pet happiness is topped off, and your pet HP. When you're ready, go ahead and pull it back to the Immo Trap kiting along the way as best as you can. Now, as soon as your this Devil Sword hits the Immo Trap, you're going to want to make sure you get your pet on that ASAP with Intimidation to get that three-second pet stun and instant aggro and pop all of your cooldowns that you can pop. When your pet gets to about half HP-ish, you're going to want to go ahead and pop that Scare beast to make sure that you can heal your pet using a bandage or men pet either one works i use a bandage first and then i'll use men pet a couple times um oh reminder make sure that when you heal your pet using either one of these that you return it to you put it on passive call it back to you because otherwise it will run out of range and the men pet or the bandage will stop in the middle of its duration and that's a really really unfortunate thing it happens to me right here in the in this next part of the video coming up um i actually scare beast this devil sore and then i forget to recall my pet back right away and it goes out of range of men pet and i act actually waste the mana for men pet right there and so i act i have to chug a mana pot and recast men pet so i basically wasted that 345 mana just on it going out of range not very good it's actually a make or break scenario in a lot of these pulls. I got lucky I had a mana pot. Um, if your pet go, goes down, you either want to resummon it or you want to go ahead and cut it out if it's below about 15% like I am here. You just want to go ahead and swap to Cheetah, hit it with a couple concussive shots and auto attack in between your auto shot cooldown. Um, right here, I will go ahead and I just make sure that I get auto sh or concussive shot off of cooldown before I want to finish it off just to be safe. You don't want this thing coming anywhere near you. If it does hit you, tendency to two shot you if not one shot you so you want to be really really careful about that after you go ahead and down the devil sword man make sure you look around nobody's looking at you nobody's around you skin that bad boy take home that that devil sword leather and move on to the next one man you need 22 to make the set so have fun brothers Alrighty guys, hopefully this video helps some of you out there who are curious about farming Devil Soars solo. Um, if any of you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And also, if you want to see more Hunter gameplay content like this, go ahead and follow my Twitch channel where I livestream Classic WoW every day at twitch.tv backslash shawnee underscore d. There's, there'll be a link to that into the description below. But for now, I wish all of you a great day and happy hunting.